So in today's tutorial we're going to take a look at the spell check attribute and how you can use it to toggle on and off the spell checking features of your browser. So let's say we've got a simple input box uh, such as this input here and uh, we can actually go and add an attribute in there which is spell check and we can set that to either true or false. So if I set spell check to true and then go and type something into our input box you'll find that the Chrome browser flags that up as an incorrect word uh, and obviously it gives us options in the dictionary to change that uh, but interestingly enough especially in Chrome uh, if we remove that spell check attribute uh, we should see the same behavior. If I just reload the app and type something else in you can see we still get the problems with that text uh, saying that it's not actually a word. So similar to other attributes in this manner, uh, they're very dependent on the browser and how they're implemented. Uh, it's more of a hint uh, to the browser to tell it uh, to how to handle spell checking. So as you can see, by default in Chrome, uh, spell checking is on. Uh, but we can reapply the spell check attribute and set it to false this time. And then if we reload the app and just put type uh, a random word in there, you should find now that we're not getting that hint, that spell checking uh, enabled for us. So Chrome is respecting the false setting uh, for the spell check attribute. But in other browsers, it might behave differently. Uh, spell checking might be disabled by default. Uh, and so you might need to specify it to be true uh, just to be sure that those actual inputs are actually going to be spell checked uh, via the browser. And this applies to other different types of elements as well. So for example, if we created a uh, div with the content editable attribute on there and then type some text into that, uh, you can see that uh, by default, uh, we still get the spell checking because that's Chrome's default behavior. Uh, but again, we, if we want to turn that off for some reason, uh, if you're typing in some code, for example, or something like that into that content editable uh, div, uh, then we can set spell check to false. Uh, and then we can type whatever we like in there and Chrome won't highlight any incorrect words. So just something to bear in mind, if you do have a particular need to enable or disable spell checking for a particular field or element on the page, uh, just make sure you explicitly put it in as the attribute uh, because you can't be guaranteed that each browser will behave in the same way. Uh, so that's it for this tutorial. Make sure you stay tuned for more web dev tips.